so we have a thing working now but yeah obviously it needs a lot more uh, work it's currently random uh, playing random uh, musical notes yeah let's see what we got this code seems to work now when you scroll through eg generates this uh, musical notes which is fine except that this should be dynamically generated how to modify the code to generate musical notes uh, dynamically from eg data frequency components let's see what we get yeah we already have the mapping bit oh it's going places now it's different to what we had yeah that sounds legit we need to find closest musical note to eg frequency we already have this code yeah we do want to segment into smaller parts yeah we would do a linear interpolation that's probably is it gpt4 yeah yeah we probably should start the new code we just need to fix right so this convertige it's not currently being used because it's commented out yeah a bunch of those and the note names i don't know why i need the note names but okay so get that as a k convert g is partially commented out the active part generate list of musical notes presumably based on eg data and returns them as json and the content points seem tended to more complex eg data processing yeah that's right Yes, this notes the problem is if the notes if i comment that will stop working if i need that well eg data should be there yeah there's a problem here converting the data yeah this will show a different channel after a while but converting eg data this argument requesting business is meant to be default because that's not the right number right it's printing the data okay i'm getting this error g loading check it channel okay let's go one by one ensure that load underscore data function is correctly reading and processing the eeg data well that's okay load data is returning to the eeg the issue might be in the scaling or mapping of the eeg frequencies to musical notes currently this seems like you're returning a hard-coded response with notes c4 d4 e4 if this is for testing purposes ensure that the actual data processing logic is correctly implemented and used yeah it must be mismatched there so we'll the code that did work uh, this one and so i know this code worked looks the same the only difference is how this code is structured this whole thing just didn't convert eg yeah let's do musical notes instead Yes, okay, so that's what the seizure sounds like, I think. Let's double check the code. Let's save this quickly because it has something useful. Yeah, we can get rid of some of the comment that out. That was just for testing. Can we print the musical notes? Yeah, let's check this out. Scale. I need to stop uh, playing some sort of button. actually not meant to be playing multiple times i can't really call it music but uh, let's see <laughs> if we can uh, improve it the mapping do some fancy neural network something for the mapping instead of uh, what's currently linear interpolation okay so we don't actually need uh, this now happening twice yeah load that as a separate function but this one now there's also a problem scrolling is delayed positions slide split several times and the slider is moved yeah the bounce of throttle good idea yeah we do want to do that what other things right stop the previous playback i haven't thought about it what does that mean uh, okay yeah that's actually what i want yeah i'm thinking the fixing it in the back end instead Update only on slider stop. Modify your event listener to trigger data fetching in music conversion only when the user stops moving the slider. This can be achieved by debouncing the event listener for the slider. It will have this DJ feel to it when you actually move the sliders. It right, so I'm not sure if I should be doing it 
uh, front end or back end. This one makes a lot of sense. Uh, Cancelling previous requests. Validate request parameters. Should it stop playing or play on top of it? It's kind of tempting. Data slider thing. So instead of that. Yeah, the, the bouncing didn't really work, did it? Yeah, we don't use the web media anymore, do we? So if I click on it only once. Okay. And reduce the window size to 10. Yeah, it's not affected by the window size, there's a problem. Count is always 100 to fix code. Issue you're encountering, where the start parameter differs between the get eve data and convert eve to music endpoints, seems to stem from the way the front-end JavaScript is handling these requests. They should be synchronized to use the same start, count, and channel parameters, both fetching the EEG data and converting it to music. Yes, it should be default. That's not just getting a value from the document from the front panel. On the back end, Python flask, ensure that the convert eve to music endpoint correctly processes the start, count, and channel parameters, just like the get eve data endpoint. Okay, made global, isn't it? So that will be the default. That's the whole update data function. The application, Let's see what it says. Then window size, Let's test this. Okay, we're having a problem. Channel zero. Let's try get, get. Start is not defined. JS, JavaScript uh, line 81. Change convert EG to music. Yes, okay, that should get rid of that error. Yeah, let's make the window size 10. Okay, so that's what a seizure sounds like. At the end here, we should have uh, no seizure. Okay, first of all, it's playing the same. Let's stop this. It's still playing the same thing over and over again. But now it's changing with the slider. So that's good. Let's quickly just keep testing this for a sec. Just try a different channel, different EG channel. And why is all this errors? They're not the errors there. No, I mean, there's no problem, it's still working. That's a good thing. We have a window size for just two. Just need to make sure it's generating less uh, nodes. Should have been two nodes. It's only played one. Yeah, there's something funny with this buffer not found business and uh, let's do channel four i did one note and three not found okay i think i know why because we're not defining them in uh, python code only have one of those actually don't have any of those do we have a note no do we have f note no e note no this one no that's odd Okay, if we have musical notes as that, it's actually played all of them, and one not found. It's really odd. In the context of audio, the error could be a result of attempting to process or visualize data that isn't yet available or has already been processed. I had those musical notes and this error with buffer 20 not found there, this one. The error buffer 20 not found in the context of using sound from player.min. JS suggests that the sound font player is trying to play a note for which it doesn't have the audio sample loaded. This is a common issue with free or limited sound fonts. Make sure that your code isn't attempting to play sounds before any user interaction has occurred. Check the state of the audio context and ensure it's not in a suspended state when trying to play there. Double check the format of the note names. Ensure they match exactly what the sound font player expects, including capitalization and notation, like C sharp 4 PBS, C sharp 4, or DB4. 